This two-story lakefront home features four bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, high ceilings, and a three-car garage. It seems like the luxurious and carefree life is falling apart for both Kevin Hunter and Sharina Hudson, and this couple parted the ways with each of them dealing with their financial troubles separately. The fabulous life they have been openly enjoying for the past three years with Wendy's money is over, and they are now facing severe consequences of their squandering. Hi everyone and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. So the fairy tale is over for Kevin and Sharina and the reality hit them both quite hard with Kevin selling all his possessions like cars and even the family house he has sharing with his baby mama. So stay with me as I'm going to give you a virtual tour of that house. Plus, we'll delve into the details of Sharina trying to raise money via winning a culinary competition. Well, as you can see, neither of them was able to get a decent income from their business ideas, and I guess they can only blame that sparkle between them that had turned into an affair. You know, Kevin's problem is, is that Kevin ended up um, getting with this girl. She made herself very available to him. She was very disrespectful to me. This looks like a karmic lesson for these two, and it's going to teach them that you can't win when you use dirty money. And since Kevin no longer has access to his ex-wife's deep bank account, and she managed to cut him off completely from her life, he was forced to sell his luxurious possessions, like cars, and even his house. You all know that story when Kevin stopped receiving alimony payment and he filed a lawsuit against Wendy to try to regain payment again and in his petition to the court. He stated, I have fallen behind on most of my bills. I currently live in a community that requires payments to the homeowner association and I'm behind on that bill. If the homeowner's association fees are not paid for closure, we'll soon follow. Well, haven't we all thought that Kevin was exaggerating things trying to squeeze out more cash from his ex-wife? In fact, he failed to pay monthly home fees for the house he'd been sharing with Sharina and was slapped with a bill saying that he was unable to pay $800 bucks monthly dues. Now, you may all wonder how this man was managing the money that his ex-wife had been sending him as the alimony. Um, that's not my problem. No, I know that sure my isn't. child... <laughs> My, my alimony for all three of them is on time every month. Apparently, he didn't think of investing it or doing it wisely because all he managed to do is to keep surrounding himself with luxury and designer items. But now, since Kevin is basically playing with the hole in his pocket all the time and Sharina has packed her bags and left, he had no choice but to list his house in Florida for sale. And it's currently being on sale with a price tag of $1,299,000. The description goes deep into the level of luxury Kevin has surrounded himself with, stating that this is a stunning modern five-bedroom lakefront home that blends contemporary design and luxurious amenities. Moreover, it proves that Kevin has a taste for opulent lifestyle because it's not some old house that needs renovations, but a top-notch smart home with features that will make a buyer's life more convenient and efficient. What a gem, right, guys? Well, if you're rushing to make an offer and help poor Kevin financially, it's too late. The website is saying that there are currently no tours being held in the property and the owner has already accepted an offer. As the description says, this immaculate house offers a spacious and luxurious living experience with its beautifully designed interior, high-end finishes, and expansive floor plan. The main level features a spacious living room in a formal style, an elegant dining room, and a cozy family room. In addition to that, the house features the open concept gourmet kitchen and the exterior is equally great with a spacious backyard and a covered patio, perfect for outdoor entertaining. You even have a chance to sneak peek into Little Journey's room and guys, that's a dream of every young lady. So sad that her father wasn't able to pay Hoe, and now little girl may spend her nights in a less fancy bedroom hugging a smaller teddy bear. It seems like Kevin's financial issues has hit rock bottom and since Sharina is no longer living with him, he doesn't need to keep these luxurious dwelling. But this is not the only loss in Kevin's life, as it's been also speculated that he's selling his cars as Wendy once had high-end vehicles were the biggest passion in his life. Uh, and I like my husband to be on car duty. I feel like that's what a man should do. While Kevin has living with Wendy, he could boast with the fanciest garage in the industry. And while the TV diva said she was kind of embarrassed to use all these vehicles, it was all to please Kevin. Austin Martin, we've had Ferraris, Lamborghinis. We still have you know, exotic cars. We've had Bentleys. However, now you may see Kevin queuing for a bus ticket because not only he is selling the house, but the rest of his luxurious cars as well to get out of that horrible debt hole. But guys, there's another talk that Sharina left him because all these worries about money and possible backlash from Wendy and her fans only aggravate her fragile health. Health is most important thing um, to me and my family. Many people say that they are not surprised seeing this guy losing everything in his life because without Wendy's money, he is no one and he only proved it by lasting a bit more than a year without the same amount of cash in his wallet. As one person commented, this is the finale when the narcissist gets played by another narcissist. I can only imagine the embarrassment he's experiencing along with trying to find a big enough rag to wipe all the egg off his face. Who in their right mind think you're going to flourish after this? Level of betrayal? 
And another user added, the fact that they savagely splashed the money without investing just shows how evil and greedy they were and it's crumbling. Now, there's speculations that Sharina allegedly leaving Kevin and moving with her life without him. So it's quite natural that Kevin are downsizing. Although these two still follow each other on social media, but when checking Kevin's profile, I noticed that he had removed all mentions of Sharina as if she doesn't exist for him anymore. Well, Sharina herself was quite absent from social media, and I guess you know the reason why. But a few days ago, she shocked her followers when she posted a long story about her own battles. And guys, it seems like this girl had been through a lot of health scare in her past. There was a point where I couldn't explain the, my headaches, um, my stomach problems. I went to every doctor you probably think of. So Sharina finally broke her silence on social media, and what she shared was shocking to the core, although it had nothing to do with Wendy, financial troubles, or her affair with Kevin. Hudson admitted that she had been diagnosed with cancer stomach and only vegan lifestyle was helping her to fight the illness. So this was actually a long post and let me just give you its juiciest parts where Sharina explained how she came to veganism and why it has been an important and even life-saving part of her current life and eventually led to her becoming a pancake queen. I mean, chef. I quote, My path in the food industry started not because of modern day trends. It began with aching, burning stomach pain that led to a diagnosis of Helicobacter pylori infection. Helicobacter pylori is a type of bacteria that enters your body and lives in your digestive tract, eventually causing sores, ulcers. That damaged the protective lining of your stomach or the upper part of your small intestines with sores, ulcers. For some people, this may lead to stomach cancer. Unfortunately, I was one of those people. In the end of her lengthy post, she confirmed that she's now living cancer-free life and added that she was going to join the chef's competition called Favorite Chef, where one person has a chance to win $25,000 and appear in a two-page advertorial in Taste of Home Magazine. Well, Sharina modestly asked to support her persona via making a donation and said it was highly important for her since she was only fourth in the competition. I sincerely hope it's not just some false narrative or sob story to raise some cash because these 25 sounds tempting. And knowing Sharina's previous actions and wrongdoing, I wouldn't be surprised to find out that this was just another scheme to lay hands on a big pile of cash since things with Wendy's alimony didn't work out. Veganism saved my life and me able to tell my testimony, I am here to save lives. The thing that makes the whole story suspicious is because I knew nothing about her having stomach cancer. I mean, the girl who was flaunting Chanel bags and getting a gold Ferrari suddenly spilled the details of the most important battle in her life. And surprise, surprise, timing is great because it allows her to get some sympathy and even become a wealthy lady. However, as I looked through the comments, there are not its people who are rooting for Sharina anyway. As one person wrote, I don't wish ill on anyone, but Sharina pretty much had to admit that karma came back around in its own time. And another user added, remember, karma never has an expiration date. You can't build your happiness on the back of someone else's pain. Always move accordingly. Well, although I feel sorry for Sharina's poor health, it's hard not to agree with these fans above. And karma actually knows the best way to repay everyone who wrongs with people. And what do you reckon? Has Kevin's life gone so wrong that he's forced to sell everything? Or is this all to help Sharina fight her health issues? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm eager to know what you're thinking. And in the meantime, check my other videos about the lives of celebrities. The mess in the show business is always smoking hot. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and I promise to be back very soon 